actually open now. Last time we saw this, this wasn't even here. <laughs> I know, I'm like kind of wowed at how different this area looks. Like I still think that this is a little like a bizarre juxtaposition, but like other than that. Hey, this is clearly step one in beefing oh, yeah. this park up. Absolutely. It is the grand opening day of Airy Force One. We're here for the media preview. They're gonna be doing an opening ceremony later. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. Fun spot, Atlanta, uh, just like right near the Atlanta airport. Like they're putting themselves on the map right now. Absolutely. They're adding a world-class roller coaster at this tiny little park. It's amazing. It's yeah. absolutely incredible. I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so stoked. This is going to be our first time experiencing it. Uh, I think we're going to be able to lap it all day. They're even open tonight. Like, we we'll get night rides, guys. They opened up for an ACE event at, I want to say, 6 in the morning. So they're running it from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. How fast do you think that thing's going to be running by 10 p.m.? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's going to be ridiculous. Alright, so we're entering the queue for Air Force One. Look at all this, this here. Dude, we this, still have one of those! I know, yeah, we actually have an exact, like, one of these hats from the construction process. Here's a bunch of math equations. Then over here, we have, uh, I guess, the, oh, this is the accessibility area. Yeah, yeah, the elevator is gonna take you up to the station. Here's a bunch of piping, more big canisters, and a big Air Force One banner. Orion. It is, it's like a fun spot version of Orion. All right, your guys' first time ride, you excited? <laughs> Except for Cole, Cole's running a bunch. <laughs> That was our first time ride. Uh, we sat in the third to last row, I think, because it was the shortest and we're gonna be here for a while. So we're gonna be able to oh, just yeah. lap this thing. So we're not too concerned about like, our first ride being in the front row or back row. We'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah, um, okay. Initial thoughts though, that was awesome. I think it's fantastic. Flow is great. I love the, the Raven Trust Hunt. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. It's unique feeling, but I think the standout moments to me were that, I'm sorry, I have like no voice, it was the uh, the Outer Bank. It yeah. goes on forever. I think it goes on longer than Steel Vengeance. So it, no, I'm it, like, yeah, and his profile like really, really cool. Yeah. Also, just the last inversion over the arcade that building. That was my favorite part. It's yeah. so cool because the inversion, it doesn't feel like, I don't know, how you would expect it. It doesn't even like look how you would expect well, yeah. a typical like RMC it's inversion. It's like, kind of daunting looking at it yeah. because it's like so tight. But the thing is, like, usually when you take an inversion on an RMC, it's very graceful maybe is the way like it feels mm. very like fluid and graceful this, this one just kind of like, like boom this one feels like you're like cooking pancakes and you like flip the pancake over <laughs> like really aggressively like that's what it feels like okay pancake. meanwhile i'm like oh yeah it's like the inversion of max force like that's I, it I <laughs> but you're like pancakes now. um <laughs> quad down has so much air it's not a quad okay yes it's like a quad down but it feels like just four huge airtime hills in a row like but they're not huge they're tiny look look this is them this is oh, what we're talking about don't feel tiny it's just that is it's a, it's stepping down that is the, like the most most, like aggressive long stretch of airtime I've ever felt on any ride. It's just bam, 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 bam. Austin agrees with me that it's it's like a couple people actually said they think it might be too much. It's that much airtime, like back to back to back to back, and it's like it doesn't feel like the quad down on lightning ride. It no, like more, no. Like, think of like when you're riding twisted timbers and you go to like those big airtime hills like one in a row, but make them smaller and make it like five of them in a row because they're. It's, Four, but it's like actually five because that chili dip. Chili dip, chili which dip. is just a normal air time. I prefer queso. <laughs> and in the main diner here at Fun Spot Atlanta, we got a VIP lounge. Look at this, we got some fruit, these scones or something like that, muffins. Something up there, maple Jumped. bacon. Uh, this is definitely maple bacon. That is uh, like cereal. Can we share this? Yeah, totally. All right, just back from Abu Dhabi, wearing his Mission Ferrari shirt. Yeah. I know. Sloan, what do you think of Air Force One? Top three RMC in North America. Ooh, okay. It's going to end up being top five globally. Um, it's just testament to what happens when you can do ground up and you have a clean sheet of paper to work with. Uh, 
pacing is unbelievable. The second half is actually better than the first, which is just mind blowing in terms of how good that starts off. So yeah, get down here, right? Because this thing is unbelievable. I'm glad this is my backyard. But what I'm hearing is that it does not top Zaja for you. No, Nothing ever no. will. <laughs> I don't think anything no, will. That, that's still the king of the RMCs, but this guy's <laughs> this guy's hot on its heels. <laughs> Brett, how was it? It was amazing. Yeah? What's your favorite part? Um, definitely the inversion over the arcade, is it? That thing is wild! Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's just so freaking fast, man. It's really good. I think the pace is great and it's still the morning. I think it's good to me because all the elements are very unique. Like, we see some elements we haven't seen lately in RMCs, except from the end, obviously, but the ride's great. It's long. What a great addition. Oh, to totally. Park. Nick, you agree? A, A plus. It's great. A plus, yeah. he says. Best part? Uh, oh, the stall is really good. And that inversion going over the arcade is just so whippy and fast. It's nuts. <laughs> Kevin, what did you think? That is a top tier RMC. Yeah? No doubt. Okay, what was uh, your favorite part? I think my favorite was definitely the inversion over the arcade. That just goes so fast. It reminded me of the inversion on Max Force. It's just so whippy and oh, it's so good. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say I think it's better than the one on Max Force. I'm just I, gonna I say it. Yep. I agree, yeah, 100%. <laughs> What about you, Austin? What do you think? I'm dressed so poorly. I don't want to be on video. You look cute. Hey, look at that. <laughs> every every element's like, I, I'm like perfect. The flow is really good. Okay. The ending is like maybe too much. You think they found the line of like too much airtime? They found the line. All right. Uh, yeah, incredible ride, but. Yeah, I think I'd prefer just like two large air hills here instead of like, <laughs> instead of like boom, boom, five boom, boom, or boom, boom, ten or whatever it is. Yeah. It beats Lightning Rod for my top three RMCs. I still have Steel Vengeance, then Iron Wazzy, then probably Air Force One. Awesome! So it's just around the corner from my house, so. You're very lucky. What's your favorite part of the ride? Oh, uh, I would say either the stall, because it's a stall, longest in North America, or the Outer Bank uh, airtime hill turnaround thing. They're going all out with the food here. Look at that. So we have brisket sliders, chicken sliders, a bunch of veggies, some fruit, deviled, deviled eggs. eggs, and forks. I love to eat a good fork every now and then. Good morning, everybody, and it is a good morning. I am Scott Feist, the editorial director at IAPA. We are so excited today to join you as we celebrate the partnership between Rocky Mountain Construction and Fun Spot America Theme Parks right here in Fayetteville. We are excited today to have the president of RMC here, Darren Tarr. Darren, come on down. A little over two years ago, Fun Spot invited us down here uh, to discuss this project. And we met with John Jr. And it, you know, he explained to us his vision for this property. And it was something that you know kind of blew us away and it was the kind of project that we want to be involved with. Is every one of these pieces was, you know, started off as almost raw steel that we cut, shape, bend, and you know, our hands have been on this stuff for thousands of thousands of hours, and we do the installation, but we could not do it without the incredible crew members that make it happen. How many people love those negative G's on roller coasters? Yeah. Imagine living that. I'm excited to introduce to you Colonel Doug Hurley, who is an American engineer and a retired NASA astronaut. He is the man, are you ready, who piloted the final mission of the space shuttle, Space Shuttle Atlantis, and then, wasn't done quite yet, he went back to space with the first liftoff of SpaceX. I can't talk because I just pulled a bunch of G's. It's the first time I've done it in three years, so <laughs> unbelievable ride. I, I can't thank John and John Jr. enough for inviting me, fun spot. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on a roller coaster, but the first thing I said to John Jr., we rode it twice. I told him, I said, I could not fly the F-18. I flew the F-18 for many years with the Marines, and pulling those Gs, doing barrel rolls, I couldn't have done it as well as this thing does it. I, I mean, it feels just like you're flying low to the ground in a fighter, and then, of course, the weightlessness is much like being in space. I can't believe we're here today. I can't believe we've got such an attendance. I can't believe the heart. I can't believe the soul. I can't believe the support. From the moment that you drop in that 160 foot lift hill till the time you hit that brake run, there is no break. There's no losing of the pace. There's no dull moment. It's what my dad taught me years ago when we build these go-kart tracks. Don't build straightaways. They're no fun. Make them go left, make them go right, make them go up, make them go down. RMC nailed it. Let's give it up for RMC. You ready to introduce this to the world? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go.
about four o'clock now. The park is officially open to, it's either pass holders or the public, I can't remember. I think it's the public. We're gonna take a break. We're staying just down the street from Fun Spot. They are open till 10 tonight. So we're gonna uh, come back and get some actual night rides tonight, which I think should be pretty cool. So. I think it's gonna be really dark. It's, like, gonna, really dark. it's gonna be dark for sure. But again, just like juxtapose Air Force One versus the rest of the park. This is like the front area. I came here before they had ever started constructing this thing like a couple years ago. And this was like just empty, nothing, like other than like the arcade. And it's like, as soon as we started building, it's like, oh my gosh, there's new life. All right, we're on our way back for night rides. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boom, just there on the side of the freaking road. It's We're about to park at Fun Spot, and look at this. You drive up to the coaster. Yeah, you literally drive like into the park. You and have then... to turn right, and you park all the way down here. It's very odd. And then you walk all the way back there. It's very, very bizarre. I am interested in seeing what sort of lighting we have around this park since we're gonna be here well after dark. I'm not expecting a ton of lighting around Air Force, which would actually mean pretty cool night rides. Look at this truck. What? They have this temporary queue set up just for opening day, just in case the line ended up getting pretty long, and it looks like it is not necessary. It was earlier. It was when it just opened to the public after the grand opening. This was this was full. I don't know if I expect it to be full like that ever again, to be honest. I mean, like, even Fun Spot Orlando doesn't ever get that busy, so it's Yeah, like which doesn't mean that this ride would be a failure, if that's the case. Like, honestly, if their operations are good with, like, two trains, then, like, you shouldn't need it, in theory. So this is where we're currently at as far as the line goes. So actually still pretty good. I like all the references to kind of making this look like a space station, you know? We got all this high performance rocket fuel. All right, about to go for a night ride. Jess, you got to ride it earlier. What do you think? I thought it was lovely. I it was love lovely. That's her description. She says the coaster is lovely. A hundred? What? Wow. wow. <laughs> What's up, mate? How you doing, mate? How was your night ride? It was amazing, actually. Yeah, what do you think? It's like, actually, a like, lot faster. You think? It's running amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm still not a huge fan of the end, but I think the first 80% of the ride is incredible. Is and it? what this park has done to build this, and really, they've made the, the whole park look a lot nicer. It's, I think this is only the beginning for the park, if I'm honest. Oh, I definitely agree. Yeah. Our first ever night ride there in the back row. Oh my gosh. So crazy. <laughs> that is fantastic. Dude, I am like legitimately legitimately bruised like on like this part of my thigh it's bad like those last few airtime hills i was like legitimately in pain that was like the most amount of airtime i've gotten on that thing all day i don't know if it's because it's running faster because we're in like the back row but it, it was just like crazy i don't know i the, got a little staple that lady pushed it down like real hard on my thighs yeah yeah it was, but the negative g-forces are just absolutely insane absolutely. I, I think the middle of the ride is my favorite though just like i think the double it's up so in good. combination with the two inversions and like the outer bank there is just like the ending though man ow it's ow. a lot <laughs> So Air Force One does not really have a light package. However, their Ferris wheel right next door does. And as it changes colors, the colors sometimes get casted onto the white structure here, which kind of gives this part of Air Force a color palette for the nighttime. I don't know, like it's pretty cool. Like you can see like the of color uh, transferring over. So honestly, not bad, but it would be cool to see some of them maybe on like the lift structure just for all those cars that are driving by that uh, they'd be able to get good views like that. So that's the astronaut from earlier. Look, it's huge. It's huge. Of Not course. enough views though. It needs more use. Oh look, look, they do have an RMC Easter egg right there. They should have put like R equals MC yeah. squared. I like that. That's that's good. Should we put that on a t-shirt? That's actually a good idea. Oh god, I'm gonna vlog now. <laughs> Almost 10 o'clock, we're going for one more ride. Hey! Hope you enjoyed your ride, you ready? I'm draining very quickly, but Allison is here to take care of me. <laughs> Last rides 
fantastic. This thing's flying. My it's body hurts. Absolutely shredding. This thing, yeah. like no joke, is like a workout on your body. It like, totally it is. is. It's like not and like obviously the legs are the main thing, but like you kind of get whipped around. Like my arms you do. hit the sides a bit, and like I think I'm gonna be sore here. I here, can see but it. My yeah. It's so worth it. It's, <laughs> it's so good. Just hey, let it happen. I yeah. like it. I think it's incredible. Definitely the best coaster in Georgia. Oh, right, right, right. You know what? I don't think that's I quite such a hot take. No, no. It was a hot take no. earlier. And now I, I thought feel like it you was earlier, that but true. now that I've ridden it, what, a dozen? Yeah. 15 times? <laughs> You're like, no contest. Oh, no. It's definitely yeah. by far the best yeah. coaster in Georgia. And that is two RMCs for Atlanta. So that is As of now, one city. It could be more. Two RMCs. You never know six Atlanta flags is. when they might. Six flags is like, well, we got to. We're getting around. <laughs> yeah, we gotta throw in a raptor now to add this. Dreaming for the Atlanteans. Atlanteans? Oh, Atlant Atlanteans? Atlantis. What? <laughs> no, what do they call it? Lousen, you're from Atlanta. Atlantis. 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 From Atlantis. 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 Atlant